What is everybody? It's back again again today. We're back with another Doki Doki mod video. Yes, this is the Exit Music mod. We're back once again recording this. Now, this is an amazing mod. If you want to download this for yourself and play, I think there will be a different options. Or it's just sort of play for funny mod for yourself in general. You leave a second link in the description. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, that got very interesting with how Monica acted to us. So if you want to watch that, it would be a little card icon on the right hand side of the screen. Up in that top corner. Yes, right there. Uh, now. Okay, so let's get straight into this video. Now she's nowhere to be seen. Now where's she splat? <laughs> From what I seem to be in thin air, however, small snowball hits me square in the face. I recoil. I recoil stunned. Hey! <laughs> That's it. She wants a snowball fight. I'll give her a snowball fight. I duck for cover behind a bush. She's already packing another. I begin to collect my own. I hear her footsteps crunching the soil as she creeps towards me. As I poke my head around the corner, I get I'm clipped by Nancy's next snowball. Nice try. <laughs> I return fire on her. I hit her in the back as she retreats towards the gate. Nancy lets out a yelp and falls to the ground. Nancy now on the hands and knees hold back hold back in pain. Oh god, are you okay? I wish I would decide taking the knee to make sure she's not injured. Natsuki, I'm so sorry. Natsuki scoops a mound of snow and throws it in my face. I thought that'd happen. Natsuki scoops up a mound of snow up and throws it to my face. It was a prank. She hops back onto her feet and runs inside, giggling. Stunned and covered in snow, I sit and process what just happened for a moment. I brush myself off and head back inside. Natsuki's washing her hands in the kitchen. You win this time. Don't think I'll fall for that again. Oh yeah? She leaves the water running as, as, from me as I see to wash my hands as well. I splash some room temperature water on my face. Ah, that's nice. Oh come on, I could have done so much worse. I draw my hands and face using a flannel. I open the fridge and start unloading the bag ingredients onto the counter. What do you think you're doing, idiot? Sit, you understand, I'm cooking tonight. You don't want my help at all? Nope, I can handle it. I mean, you need to do your part by carrying everything for me. And it's the least I can do since you're letting me stay here. I shrug. No, I'm not about to say no to a meal cooked for me by Nasty of all people. If you insist, <laughs> I take a seat at the table. And why in case you need a hand, okay? You're just gonna watch me cook. Is that a bad thing? Well, not not really. You might want to pay attention to what I'm doing though. Considering you only set your house on fire making those pancakes. I feel the blood rush my face. You're never gonna let me live that down, are you? Nope! <laughs> Nazi moves fluidly around my kitchen. You need to learn to manage your, your time in the kitchen. Cooking and baking should be fun, not a pain in the... If, if it's stressing you out, then, you should probably do, then you're probably doing it wrong. That's very poetic of you, Natsuki. <laughs> I might have heard it on a cooking show. Natsuki resumes the work as I watch from the table. Okay, now I just need to let this simmer for a few minutes and we'll be set. Really? That quickly? What do you expect? I'm a pro. I can do it in no time. Nasty begins to set the table. Wait, let me sort this out. I've done practically nothing anyway. I position, I position the plates and the silverware on both sides of the table. Nasty divides the food food onto our plates. The scent of chicken and salted vegetables fills the kitchen. It's only a stir fry, idiot. It's not that special. She must have seen the look on my face. You sure? It smells great. Sure it smells like it's nothing, but I can tell she's revealing him a compliment. We save a table and eat our dinner. After we both finish, I take our dishes and place them in the dishwasher. Fill the sink full of hot, soapy water and let the pan soak for a few moments. Natsuki's already made her way to the couch so I'm looking for something to watch. She shouts out to me from the next room over. Idiot! Anything you want to watch? Unless you got something in mind, not really. I scrub the pan ha hastily and toss in the rest of the load. I end my living room to find Natsuki staring out the window. Aw, oh, it stops snowing. Probably be gone by tomorrow. Hey, at least we gotta have fun with it, right? Natsuki nods in agreement. Natsuki flips through channels. Soap, drama, comedy. Comedy. Why well, is there two comedies? Soap. Oh, that's like the type of what's on in each house. Soap, drama, comedy, comedy, soap, documentary, soap, game show, etc, etc. Oh, there's nothing ever good on. I know. You wanna look for a movie instead? Sure. I open the streaming app I like, and Nasty begins to browse the selection. She picks a cutesy, lovely story. I never get a chance to read the title before she hits the play button. I love this movie so much. I used to watch it all the time because... Because... Iggy, I forgot. Nasty pauses the movie and turns to me. About everything. My, my father. 
I see the tears forming in her eyes. Idiot. He, he has a problem. He's been like this ever since. Ever since my, my mum left us. I, I think I was five. Looking back, I can get why she stopped talking to him. He was a terrible person before. But, why me? What did I ever do? I, I think my dad blames me for her leaving. I think it was the reason he drinks so much. He, he always t tells you I, I remind him of h her. Uh, and that he, he hates it. Uh, Natsuki can't even speak. The sobbing is drowning her voice. Natsuki, just try and breathe, okay? Take your time. We don't have to talk about this right now. We can save this for another day. No, no, idiot. I, I, I need you to know. Idiot, since I was 14, he, he resorted to, to a borderline torture in me for existing. He only brings home food once a week, and it's usually just leftovers from a restaurant. And when he drinks, he, he sees me as my mother. That day he saw me in hospital. That wasn't even the worst. But believe me, I have tried to run away from him before. A couple of years ago I found my mum's address. It had been something like 11 years since I'd seen her. I took the train to a city and I knocked on the door. She, it, she slammed the door in my face, telling me that she left for a reason, that she didn't want me. So I came back to her home, I came back to her home and I had nowhere else to go. He found out I went to see my mother. That's when he really started to take his anger out of me. He, he beat me to a point I had to cover up in makeup just to be able to go to school. Of course, no one noticed. I secretly hoped that someone would think something was up. I would have to explain myself, but they never did. I mean, I was trying to cover up so I couldn't really blame them. She takes a moment wiping her eyes with her sleeve. The other night, you know the, the drinks? That was the only escape I could think of. I'd gone back to the doctor's a few hours after he saw me. He gave me painkillers for my ribs. So I stole a bottle of wine from my dad's rack in the basement. I've tried everything to get away from him, but every time, every goddamn time I always fail and have to go back. Idiot. I wanted to die. I really wanted it. All to get away from him? I thought the pe pills would have been enough. But I guess a few I had left was ready to go. To go weren't... Well, wait, what? But I guess the few that I had left when I was ready to go, to go, weren't. Ah, oh, okay. And I'm glad. Because you came to check on me. You were worried. You cared about me. I never thought I would have this, idiot. I never thought I would feel this way. This... This is the first time I can remember where I felt truly happy. All those years. All the pain. N nothing can change the past. But... I grabbed Nazi by the shoulder, holding her tight. Nazi buries her face in my chest. She's sobbing uncontrollably. I don't let anything else happen to you, Natsuki. I promise. You're here now. I'm always here for you. No matter what. Do you understand? She nods her head, keeping it embedded in my chest. I sit there for her with a while. I don't know what else to do and, and let her cry. She's held all this in for so long. She needs to let it all out. For a long time, she sits back up right, wiping tears on her face. While she's drawing her eyes, I glance at the clock. It's getting really late. If we plan on attending class, Mom, we should go to bed. But there really isn't much point in going. We've already missed a good part of the week anyways. Thank you, idiot. For reading with me at the club. For helping me bake for the festival. For saving my life. For for everything, really. I... I it's no problem, Natsuki. I'll do it again for you. You're so sweet. I... Natsuki, from the day I laid eyes on you, I thought you were perfect. So I tried to impress you with my trash poems. It's why I spent so much time with you. I only wanted to get to know you. Everything about you was just wonderful. But there's one thing that I can't stand. You hid this pain from me. I could have helped sooner. I understand that you had your reasons for not telling me, but Natsuki, I really don't know what else to say other than I love you. Everything about you makes me feel the way I've never truly felt before. Natsuki doesn't even know what to do. She sits there for a moment. I, I, I love you too, idiot. Yay! She's weeping again, this time tears of joy it seems. She wraps around him again, significantly tighter than before. I can't but think back to the hospital. When Sayu told me that she loved me, is this a part of the reason I couldn't say it back? Yes, it is. Do you still want to watch a movie, idiot? Of course. We resume the movie from the beginning. Oh, how nice. Same day. As the movie quits, what I realize how early in the morning. Nudge Nazi to stand and she follows. 
Head of the cage of forgery could not see Lingus behind me. Idiot. Can we, uh, uh, can we sleep together again? I really, I really liked it, okay? I, sure. Come on, then. Nancy and I head upstairs to the bedroom. I let her, in, I let her interchange first. She closed the door on me and I wait patiently outside. Just because I said I love you, that doesn't mean you have a right to peep. I know, I know. I'll stay out, I promise. <laughs> Come on. Of course I wouldn't invade her privacy. Not without her consent, anyway. Okay, I'm ready. Come in. I enter the door when Nasi's already in bed. I've got my pajamas from the door and take off my top as. Eh? Did you just really in front of me? What's the problem? Nasi seems tense. She wants to say them with, with, with holding it. Dummy. Oh, 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 why? I thought I'd get undressed in front of her. Do I ever stop and think about anything? Moving out of the health hall where I get changed by pajamas. Come back in. I climb into bed after turning off the light. Now I see Emily rolls over and hearts be tired she did the night before. Night, idiot. Oh, okay. So we, ne we now know for sure that it's, it is the same in this mod. Okay. Hmm. Beep. 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 I'm such a, I think this is an alarm. I'm, I'm a really good alarm. Beep. Beep. A joke awake. Wayne Natsuki as well. Ah, sorry. I forgot to turn my phone off. Natsuki lays back and closes her eyes. It's fine, idiot. I check my phone to see what you try to call me. Say you're always mother. That can't be good. Oh, no. Climb my bed in moon and hall. I call her back and ask her if everything's alright. No, everything is not alright. She explains to me that Sayori had a meltdown last night. She was hysterical. Screaming like she wanted to die, that life is nothing but pain. Nothing but seamlessly endless suffering. She tells us Sayori has been admitted to the hospital, apparently. The two of them will be back in a few days. She also instructs me to check my mail. How did they say we come last night to see what we got when we got back? Instead of knocking, she dropped a letter off. Wish they were in her well, and I head downstairs. Oh god, can't believe this happened again. I throw the door, there's an envelope with my name on it. Turn it open, I begin to read. Okay, say we, yep, yeah, this. Life isn't work, it's nothing but suffering. Day by day, my mind is fluttering. Thoughts of death, depression is rising. What the hell? Okay. Depression is rising. If I end up dead, it won't be surprising. I stare at the wall and think about this. I've been feeling this way since I was a kid. I stare at my knife, not that too messy. I think of some pills I swallowed in vain. I think of a gun and the, at my head I would aim. I would sleep sound and not have to take the pain and suffering I live through each day. I'm mentally exhausted trying to keep up, but all I want is to sleep and never wake up. What the... Bloody hell! Damn! The, the Kirby's mod has thought about this to tug on your emotions really well. He's definitely succeeded in like making the game more emotional. Not again. Dad and Mum took her to the hospital. I noticed a note in the back. I wish I was her. Wait! Did she spy on us? Did she know it's us? Did she know us? Oh my, did she know this? Oh no. Oh no, I feel sick. Can't believe this. Now she walks up behind me. What's the matter? I wordsly hand of a poem. Oh god. Now she's about to hand it back to me before she knows we're still on the back. Wait, there's more? Takes a second to process what it meant. She loses the grip of paper and let it fall out of her hands. Uh, oh. How does she even? No clue. We both stand in the doorway for a moment. Eventually we both take a seat on the couch together. You should call. Maybe ask her mum if she wants you to visit. Well, that's a good idea. I ring Sayori's mother and she answers right away. I asked if Sayori would like me to visit. According to her, she'd love it. I'll let her know I'll be there as soon as I can. Looks like I'm going right now. You coming with? No, I don't really want to get involved. So you'll be okay by yourself for a few hours. Yeah, I'll just watch TV or something. I feel I'll get my clothes washed. I've been wearing this stu your stuff for two days now. Alright, sure. Take my phone and keys off to the table. I nip her, I nip her on the cheek as I pass by her seat again. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. She better be okay. I lock the door behind us, heading to the bus stop. Oh, I barely made it to the bus stop in time. I hope say you're always okay. I wonder how she's going to react to us. But I want Natsuki to be okay because we are leaving her alone in the house. And her dad is still out there, so I don't know. It's only a short ride to the hospital. 
I entered through the emergency doors. Moving as quickly as I followed, I found the reception desk and I explained why I went here to visit Sayori. She gave me her room number. I moved quickly to the mental health wing. I find her number and enter the room. Sayori, idiot. Sayori's mother leaves the room and gives her some privacy. I found your poem. I figured. Say, what's the matter? I told you, I'm always here for you. Speak to me. Well, last night I wanted to, but all I could hear through the door was you, you and her laughing. Oh God. It was like the two of you were laughing at me. So you don't understand. No, I get it. It makes perfect sense. Say, oh yeah. I you want to know how much it hurts to see you so happy? To know that I'll never be needed? It feels like a knife being plunged to my chest, idiot, over and over and over again. And I can't, I can't stand it anymore. Say, oh, you nasty stay with me because... If you don't need to rub it in. If you're happy with her, you don't need me anymore. But there's no point hiding it. Just go. So, please, just let me explain. Idiot, go away, please. Having heard the commotion, the nurse peeks in her head through the door. She asks if there's a problem. Please, just get him out of here. So, wait, please. Complying with the nurse's request to leave, I'm forced to make my own way out of the wing. I'm escorted back to reception area, I'm instructed to leave. Oh, damn. And I'm walking down the street, so always words ring in my head. I caused this. This is my fault. Can't believe this is happening again. Turning the corner of my stop, I watch the bus speed off. God damn it. Getting to walk my way back to my house. Oh, Nazi no, baby, okay. Nazi no, baby, good. It took me a lot longer to get home than I thought. Open my front door. Nazi, no, you there? No answer. I checked downstairs, but she's nowhere to be found. Nazi? No, God, no, please. Wait, upstairs I hear rustling come from the guest room. I gently open the door. Nazi- Ah! Nazi punches me in the stomach over dropping a towel in the process. Idiot! Do you ever knock- Okay, there's nothing inappropriate. I don't have to blur this. I don't have to blur- I don't have to blur- I don't, I don't know. I'm not- I don't get paid by YouTube anyway, or I choose not to. So, yeah, it doesn't matter when me getting demonetized. I can't get demonetized, so... This is okay. If there is anything else, though... Because I don't know, you never know, there may be stuff further than this. But I'm just hurting a towel. I don't know. It, other YouTubers, they'll normally blur even this out. They'll blur this out so they don't get demonetized. So if there's anything further, I will warn you. Okay, there may be stuff further on. I think there is. And it's some stuff what's more, um, like, maybe with that, I don't know. There's apparently stuff like that, what, you'd probably want to be over a certain age. I'll try and blur it, but if not, I will warn you. Okay? Do you ever knock? Sorry. Get out, pervert. So sorry. I managed to get out of that before Nazi slams the door in my face. Kneeling onto my knees, winded, I gasp for air. Yeah, I've just heard that like, it can get, like, over a certain age limit at points. For, like, with visuals. I've heard, I've heard that. I've only heard that, so just I thought I may warn you now. It takes me a moment to collect myself, but I get back to my feet. From the hallway, I repeatedly apologise through the door. Yeah, you gotta be more careful. You could have seen me. You know. I know, I know, it was an accident. I'm sorry, okay? You didn't need to hit me so hard, though. I wasn't sure it was until. I wasn't sure it was you until I already hit you. I'm sorry, too. Just please knock next time, okay? I will, don't worry. Now give me a minute to get ready. Sure, I'll just be in my room. Treat my room and wait. While well, I sat on the computer. While well, I sat on the computer, my phone rings from across the room. I see it's a text from Yuri. How she get my number? Is this idiot's number? It's Yuri. I have no choice but to reply. Yeah, it's me. What's up? I need to talk to you about something you saw yesterday. I stared at it for a minute. She wants to talk about the cuts or... Are you talking about your arms? She takes a moment to respond, sending me over a sizable paragraph. Yes. I was never given a chance to explain myself. I'm going to have to be careful about how I word my sentences. I'm going to ask the questions then. Alright. Did you cut yourself because you might be depressed? No, I'm not depressed. In fact, it's quite the contrary. The pain is what motivates me. So exhilarating, it's almost like a high. Then, how did you start? She takes the time away to now her response. The three pits indicate she's still type. She's typing flicker one by one. Eventually, her explanation comes out as a large paragraph. Well, I've always had a morbid fascination with knives from when I was young. Before I started, I collected them, all different styles, engravings and colours. They really are beautiful. And, well, while reading the book some time ago, the topic came up. I was only going to try it once to see what it felt like. But it grew into a fully-fledged addiction. I know, courtesy of a monk, that's not a good position to be in, but I can't stop. 
Just something about the blade effortlessly slices over my skin that excites me. It's such a thrill, I can't help it anymore. The sensation, it's too powerful. That's not healthy. This is something else. I don't even know what to do. But there's something nagging at my mind. Speaking of Monica, how did she find out? Another few minutes pass, another paragraph. It was one day after the club it was one day after the club had ended, no more than two weeks ago. I don't even remember what I was doing at the time. But my sleeves slipped up and Monica saw everything. We spoke about it for a few hours and she invited me into her house to talk in private. She tried to help, I could tell she cared, but nothing she'd suggested actually worked. After she had to shut down the literature club festival, she took it out on me. She assumed that I was gonna blame her, even though I really didn't think that any less of her. She had the choice but to postpone it. All I said is that she should have tried again contact with everyone before the festival started. She didn't really take it well. She threatened me, telling me not to take make a scene about the festival in front of the rest of you, or she would tell everyone about my arms. I was really sh I was very shaken by what she said, not just because of what she was threatening, because I'd never seen that side of her. And if I'm honest with you, idiot, she scares me. Once again, I'm a lost for words. I don't know. I don't have a full story. I can't approach it now. I hesitate. If anything, I just want to convince Yuri to seek professional help for her self harm. If I have to say it, it can't go any longer. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <sighs> I see. And have you considered getting help for your arms? Could I convince myself to get help when I'm the best I've ever been? The best she's ever been? I don't think she understands what she's getting herself into. Not to say that I fully do. Right. I can hear Nasty moving through the house, humming to herself. Well, I've got to go. See you later. Alright, idiot. I'll speak to you another time. In the clubs, perhaps? But I just wanted to thank you for trying to help. Even if it won't change much, it shows that you care. Smiley face. I do care. Bye, Yuri. Send her a final text, throw my phone onto my bed. Nasty knocks on my door. Yeah, come in. See? It's not that hard, idiot. I said I was sorry, okay? What more do you want? Hmm. Oh, I know. You can carry you can carry my parfait girls collection from ho home for me. So this is your home now, eh? Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean like that. I just thought I could, you know, stay here. I'm not worried about. I took t I took my teasing too far. Could I say no to her? Well, of course, Natsuki. I was only trying to tease you. Though now you mention it, you might actually need this. Should my best I drive? Woman through it for a second, looking for my spare house key. My phone beeps and Nazi beats me to check in it. Oh, a message, Nazi recalls, dropped my phone to the floor, disgusted. Hey, watch it. As I go to pick up my phone, I see for myself, I'm sick of Nazi. It's a picture of Yuri. Oh, no. She's sitting on the bed, her scarred arms covering her otherwise bare legs. She's wearing a purple bar and a small crimson heart drawn on her left breast with a red marker. Or at least I hope it is. Oh, what? I don't know how to respond. Close my message down, I throw my phone back under my bed. Nasty is, in, is distraught. Idi, what the hell was that doing on your phone? I, I I don't know. And her arms. The heart. We were talking about her arms before. I told her to get some help, but she wasn't listening to me. Nasty, I promise you I didn't say anything to encourage her to send something like that to me. I retrieve my phone from my bed and show Nasty the messages regarding her arms. I purposely keep the messages regarding Monica hidden. I want Nasty to jump to conclusions. She's just as confused as I am. Yui, she needs serious help. Clearly. Why she send that to you? And be so open about this with you. When I saw her arms yesterday. As Mon as before I met Monica from the incident. She told me not to tell anyone, so I didn't, because I didn't want I didn't want how else to do. Idiot, you know we're gonna have to talk to her about this. It it's not healthy to be cutting like that. It doesn't help that she's clearly getting off doing it. it must be something, something in her head that makes us think that this was okay. I've known Nui for a long time, been in the club, and yeah, she gets overly attached the moment anyone shows her any attention. I hate to say it, but it's true. But holy, uh, i never seen anything like that before. Well, we'll talk to her the next time we get a chance, okay? Alright, idiot. Oh, um, before I forgot, take this bare house key from her desk drawer and hand it to Natsuki. I'm surprised Natsuki's moves seem to be completely shift. She pauses for a moment before jumping into my arms. Idiot! <laughs> Thanks! You're the best boyfriend ever. As we would escape Ma Natsuki's mouth, she jumps back. That's the first time she called me that. I can't help but smile. Who could call me back made the text with Yuri and Monica's argument everything melt away. But it didn't matter. 
The more time I spent with Nazi, the more frequently I felt this way. Waking up next to her, reading with her, hearing her tell me that she loves me, hearing her arms, feeling her arms wrapped around me. I never thought I could feel this way about someone. Natsuki, you're the best girlfriend I could ever ask for. You were just saying that, aren't you? No, Natsuki, I'm not just saying that. I love you more than words can let me describe. I. So if it's official, then... Yeah, I guess so. Love you so much, idiot. Pull Natsuki close to me, holding her tight. She pulls back for a moment and stares at me. I lift her chin up and kiss her. <laughs> Natsuki buries her face in my chest again and squeezes me as tight as she can. I never want this to end. The two of us stayed locked in this embrace for what feels like an eternity, but reality probably lasted a few minutes. As we separate him, the doorbell rings. You want to get that? I nod. What could it be? Natsuki heads back to her bathroom and head downstairs. I wasn't expecting any visitors today. Peer through a peephole. It's Monica waiting patiently for an answer. Okay, do you want? Saving it here. Saving it here. I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't really want to know. So, I guess it's... This mod is brilliant. I've said this every video. And I've also said that every video. But it's sort of, sort of spoiled for me. But I know this is going to have a really deep, horrible ending. What's apparently going to make me cry. Especially that Nazi is my favorite, fa for me, my favorite girl out of the, out of the Dokis. So, knowing that we're getting so close to her in this mod, and that in the end it's going to be a horrible ending, it, it sort of, that sort of spoils it for me. But it's also making me think, what is that ending? When is it going to happen? What's next? I don't know. But, like, even, I still think for now, the end, I'm probably still going to get, I'll definitely get, I may not cry, I hope not, for God's sake, I hope I don't cry about the ending, but I may get, like, upset, I don't know, I just may get, like, a bit upset knowing that the ending, like, emotional, like, you know what, you, I think you guys know what I mean, but, like, for anyone who doesn't know about the ending at all, that would be such a game changer, it, that would definitely be emotional. But if you liked this video guys, smash that like button where it hurts, or smash the subscribe button too, if you're new to the channel, and turn that notification bell to get notified when I upload. I'll see all you amazing people in the next video. Bye bye.